a new biological treatment that can potentially reverse diabetes, the study promises. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have some exciting news for those living with type 2 diabetes. A new cell therapy trial has shown positive results in lowering insulin levels in patients with diabetes. This breakthrough treatment actually involves reviving the beta cells in the pancreas as opposed to replacing them with new healthy cells, which are, you know, the beta cells, as you know, are responsible for producing insulin. But they are replenishing the beta cells that have been damaged in patients with type 2 diabetes. And the therapy has shown promising results in improving insulin sensitivity and reducing the reliance on insulin injections. And as a result, in my opinion, if they can achieve that, then you may be able to get off other medications as well, hopefully, if your insulin resistance improves and if your pancreas ability to make insulin gets better. So remember, when you have diabetes, you lose at least 50% of your beta cells and you have to deal with the, the rest, which is the other 50%. It's like retirement, you know, you retire and you lose 50% or more of your income. You're not going to die, but you have to deal with the new income. So, or you have to get a supplemental income and that's why you guys are using our supplements, right? Or medications, whatever you prefer. But you end up doing something extra in other than the diet sometimes because if you lost a lot of beta cells it may be hard now when we say loss of beta cells they're actually dysfunctional they're not totally dead right that's why reversing diabetes is possible now of course diet and exercise will do it sometimes but when it's too late sometimes you kind of miss a train now these type of therapies have a role in that the potential impact of this therapy actually on will affect millions of individuals around the world and that's tremendous now i can't wait to see that continuous progress in this field 93 percent of these individuals with diabetes were able to reduce their insulin doses by at least 50 percent safely as the biotechnology company creative medical technology is they are called has reported that an ongoing clinical trial for the cell treatment program, and they call it CELLS001, has produced excellent findings. Within a year, 93% off, which is 14 of the 30 people who took part in the experiment and received the treatment were able to reduce the amount of insulin they needed by at least 50% without experiencing any significant adverse problems or side effects. Now, this study shows or the follows the exact same protocol as another of the company's research treatments for type 1 diabetes and they call that uh, cells 201 now cells 201 is a cell therapy that in contrast to certain other cell therapies now in the research pipeline for both type 1 diabetes and type 2 they aim to revitalize the beta cells that are already present in the pancreas other than replacing them with the new cells now research on the treatment is also being conducted on patients who have type 1 diabetes uh, as part of create one and, and a phase 2 clinical trial that is actively recruiting participants right now now the company's method is known as allo stem and it relies on perineal tissue derived cells which originate from either the placenta or the umbilical cord in addition patients are not needed to take immunosuppressant medications as part of the treatment which goes against the purpose right but that further reduces the likelihood of experiencing a variety of adverse effects. Like, for example, if you get a pancreatic transplant, which I sometimes get the question, not good. Why? Well, pancreatic transplants fail so quickly and you end up taking so many immunosuppressants that it's not even worth it. However, the firm has stated that it intends to further expand these 
programs that it would publish the findings at an upcoming endocrinology conference that I cannot wait for. The company has not disclosed any other information yet regarding the operation of the treatment in terms of how it is going to be done. And it can be daunting to hear that actually the advanced treatments for diabetes often come at a high cost, right? We all are suffering from that. Most diabetics, not, not me, but most of my patients, they're, I consider them my family. These treatments are typically reserved also for those who are in later stages of their disease. Now, it is hard to know whether these cutting edge technologies will become widely available before it's too late for most of us. That's why it is crucial to take action now to protect your health by focusing on your lifestyle and incorporating supplements from SugarMDs.com. You can give yourself the best possible chance of preventing complications and keeping your insulin levels lower. Don't wait for a cure to come along. Make a proactive choice for your health today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.